Hey guys, it's Hannah, and I'm going to be doing my first book review. I've watched the book review videos before, so hopefully I'll try and make it like that. But the book I'm going to be review uh, the book I'm going to be reviewing is called The Apothecary by Malay Malloy and Advance Uncorrected Galleys, not for sale, because this doesn't come out until October. Because my aunt, I think I've said this in another video, like all the books I'm going to attempt to read. Um, my aunt is a book reviewer, and this is the first children's book she's ever reviewed. Um, and so she gave it to me. Um, and so I'm doing, I'm reviewing this book because it didn't come out yet. And so then you could buy it, like, right when it comes out without thinking it over. Like, oh, how good is this book going to be? But because my book review is going to be, it's going to be optimistic and positive about this book. Um, you will hopefully get it because it's very good. I don't know if this author has written any other books, but if she has, you should definitely go read them because they are very good. So the author is named Malay Malloy. Malay Malay. Um, she has written, this is her first novel for young readers. So she's written, um, she has written Both Ways is the Only Way I Want It, Half in Love, Liars and Saints, and A Family Daughter. Um, so those are all like adults. Not adult, but probably like older books. Um, so basically, this book, it's the year 1952, and this girl named Janie Scott moved from Los Angeles to London. And she meets this apothecary while getting some coins and hot water bottles for their apartment and she goes to the same school as a son named Benjamin and he um um when Benjamin's father is kidnapped they must uncover the secrets of the um apothecary's book called the pharmacopoeia and they have like all these transformations like they turn invisible and they turn into birds and so like it's basically against the Russian spies. So basically, Benjamin's father is a spy. And so um, the Russians are trying to release a bomb on Nova Zembla, which is a place in Russia. And so they have to stop it because it's against the Soviets, which are Russian spies, and then the London spies. And so um, they basically have to save the world from that huge bomb that's going to explode. And this is fiction, but it came after right after World War II, which did have bombs. Um, but this bomb wasn't like any other. It's much different. And so what I really like about this book is the drawings, because these drawings are so realistic. And on some of these pages, um, they're like, like this one. They're all black, the first two pages. And when it says Art TK, I think it means there will be a picture here. Like, um, yeah, and yes, so basically that's, yeah. And I really like the cover because it has London and then it has the birds and stuff. There's like, um, I don't know what kind of birds they are because I don't really, uh, this is a robin because that's, um, a robin is a big part in the story. And then one of them is a skylark. I don't know which one. I'm not very good at telling apart books. I mean birds. And um, yeah, there is that bird again. So birds are a big part of this story. And there are 353 pages in this book. And one thing I didn't really like about it is um, like you're only on you're only on page 15 and they've already moved to Los Angeles and they're in their apartment. So it, it's kind of fast reading. Like I remember um, on page 60, like you're only on page 60. Um, yeah, she already, the girl, Janie already met Benjamin and he's already sleeping over. So like in the beginning and like the first 100 pages, it's very fast reading. Like only chapter 10, page 75, it's already um, the smell of truth, which is also a big part. So that's something I didn't really like about that book. It's kind of fast in the beginning. Um, so that is basically it. So it's called The Apothecary by Malay Malloy. And The Apothecary has a big book, a big part in this book, like huge. And I think you should definitely go check it out. So thanks for watching. Bye.